I used a toaster to play Minecraft and slayed the Ender Dragon. Now it's time for my next challenge. I'm going to survive 100 days on Minecraft Hardcore. Watch the video and see how I did. For those of you who haven't seen my last video, this is how I got on when I first used a toaster to play Minecraft. Why? Why? Come on! Why is there two zombies? Ah! Surprise, motherfucker! No! Why? Why? So close to home! No! 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 Don't fall down there! No! It's Here hand. we go. Minecraft completed. We're a toaster. Let's go. Now a seasoned toaster pro, a slayer of dragons, a conqueror of worlds, a master of the toaster and Minecraft, no creeper, zombie, spire, or skeleton, or dragon shall that beat me, I will drink the sky and swallow the sea, I am a god, I am call me daddy. Excuse me, sir. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Oh no! Oh, that was close. That's an issue. Oh, no, 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 no! Please, God, have mercy on my soul, no, no. I spent days getting wood, coal, iron, stone, and meat from animals. So I'm just gonna skip that and get to the interesting part. Oh sh! Oh no 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 no! Yeah, no no, I agree. When I saw this mob spawner, my massive brain came up with a genius idea, an idea that would let me complete my ultimate goal. If I can make a spawner farm, then I can kill all of the mobs on my kill list. To do this 100 day challenge right, I set myself the goal of killing zombies, spiders, creepers, skeletons, a desert zombie, zombie pigmen, and a ghast. To kill the ghast and pigmen, I was going to need a lot of TNT. And with this farm, I could tick off zombies, spiders, creepers, and skeletons. So I dug, and I dug until this trap was complete. Then I set up some water to push the zombies to the hole I dug and blocked off the stream so they couldn't swim up it. With this trap yes. ready, I released my prey. Yes. Wait, what? I don't like Oh, hello there! Like oh, shit. Oh shoot, and my controls aren't working. God, that was scary. Oh, what? Fool, creeper, fool. How are you hanging on? <laughs> yes. You can see how beautifully this spawner trap worked. Skeletons, creepers, spiders, all of it, they were just falling to their death, meaning that I'd successfully tick them off my kill list. And not only that, look at how many resources I got from them. Plenty to make all the TNT I would ever need. And with that, it was time for the next piece to my puzzle. Diamonds. Wait a minute! <gasps> yes! Oh, come on! Wow, I found that so quickly! Iron pick does destroy diamond, right here we go. And there it is, baby, diamonds. Let's go. Only two though, oh, I really need to make a pick. I wanna go to the never. That's a terrible idea, but I wanna go to the never. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, these are going to be a difficult one to get to. Uh, this one. Press the W key. A quick reminder, if you're enjoying the video and want to see more videos that will slowly damage your brain cells, please hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. That's one. You can see how painful it is just to block up a bit of lava while using a toaster. There's no way I was going to risk these diamonds falling into the lava. I needed them so badly. Oh, so many. Let's go. Now let's get away from the lava. Thank you. Go straight back because I am not risking losing these. With diamonds for a pick and gunpowder for the TNT, the next step was to get water. To kill the pigmen and wither, I needed to go to the nether, and for that I needed obsidian. So I shaped my little toaster loving booty up to the nearest pond, got my water and headed to the nearest lava pool. Oh, what a beautiful moment. And there we have it. Our first piece of obsidian ore. Nice. And our second piece. Next, I needed sand. Sand would be used to make TNT. So I used my iron to make some spades. And then I spent days trying to find sand. It took way too long. But once I found it, I found a lot. And I even found this cute little chest which had a few extra goodies in it. After digging stacks and stacks of sand, I came across this temple. I had never seen one of these before, and I knew I had to explore it. What is that? Oh, this looks dangerous. Oh, please let me turn around. That's TNT. Oh! After nearly stepping on a pressure pad, and activating the TNT, I cleared out the TNT and checked out the chests. You're Ooh. breathtaking! Ooh! Ah! Nice. After a successful trip, I decided it was time to head home and not push my luck. I'd already killed a zombie, I'd got loads of sand and a bunch of extra bonus goodies. It took me a few days to get back, but it was well worth it. This was a horrible moment for me. After surviving for this long and getting so close to getting to the nether, I come across a skeleton waiting for me. Luckily, I was able to quickly get away, and I managed to survive him. There was one more thing I needed to do before entering the nether. 
And that was slaughter as many animals as I could, because I needed food, and a lot of it with the amount of damage I was probably going to take. And here it was, the moment I'd been building to. It was time to enter the nether. Run, 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 run. Alright, we can, uh, there's a few less piggies here than there was before. After surviving the hordes of nether monsters, I finally found a place nice and high up where ghasts would fly by. I set up my genius TNT trap. And then spent days and days and days waiting for one to fly past until finally I did it. I slayed every mob on my kill list. I survived 100 days on Minecraft using just a toaster to play. I returned to my village a victor, a king, a great warrior, and spent the rest of my days settling down, building a home, and kidnapping a family. But then I came across this, a game generated building that looked better than what I had built. There's no way I'm letting this stand, okay? Even though I built it with a toaster, it doesn't matter. This has to go. And they lived happily ever after. Let's activate!